Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com, and today we are going to discuss the difference between companies like ASCAP and BMI and SoundExchange. Now, I know a lot of you have heard of SoundExchange. Some of you actually have joined up, and that's very smart. So basically, ASCAP and BMI, they collect royalties for a public performance, and a public performance means... Radio play, um, your song being played in some kind of business, like an elevator or something like that. Or even just a business in general. Sometimes businesses just kind of stream music. Um, amusement parks, clubs, malls, jukeboxes, all that stuff. Even bowling alleys. All that stuff is a public performance. And you are, you are entitled to get paid by that. So they usually charge businesses a blanket fee to play the ASCAP catalog or the BMI catalog and then they pay out royalties from that. Now Sound Exchange, they collect for digital performances. And basically that means anything from satellite radio like Sirius XM, internet radio like um Pandora, stuff like that. Uh even like some of you may have cable TV and they offer like a streaming radio service. That would be covered by that. And they kind of do the same thing. They collect the money and then they, they distribute it to the proper people, the right holders of the music. Now some digital providers such as Spotify and iTunes Radio, they actually bypassed all that because they struck separate deals with the record labels. So they don't have to pay Sound Exchange. They actually just pay the record labels direct. So that was, that's kind of different. So, I mean, it's a little confusing, but if you read more on it, it's, um, it starts to get easier to understand in general. But that's basically the difference. It's basically just a regular public performance compared to digital. You know, ever since the uh, you know, internet has taken over, they had to come up with something, and, and that's what they did. So, it works out nicely. If you haven't, obviously, put your music, got your music right with ASCAP or BMI, do it. It's well worth it, especially if you're getting play, and especially if you're getting music placed in, you know, film or television or radio. Also, if you haven't done sound exchange yet, do it. It's time. I think they, last time I went, they actually have a search thing for you that you can type in your artist name or band name and see if there's money kind of waiting for you. And even if there isn't, it's still a good idea to sign up to them and just get that done. It's it's a good thing, no matter what. Because if you get something that's placed or you get to start getting play on satellite radio or something, you'll start seeing money come in, and that's the best feeling on earth, like that first check you get. Or a lot of times now, they don't even send checks. If they if you don't want to, they'll just deposit it right into your bank account. But it's the best feeling. You feel like an accomplished accomplished musician. And um, it's undescribable how that feels. So... Do that now. If you want to learn more about music publishing in general, download our ebook. It's at www.musicpublishingonline.com. And it's a downloadable, instant download. You could read it on your Android device or your Apple device or your Kindle. And it's excellent. So just do that. Go there now. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more music business tips. And we shall see you soon. Thank you.